I lost my cup, so we're just gonna stick with this one. I don't know what to do with my hair. What do I do? Hi guys, I just finished editing and I realized I didn't make an intro. My name is Vesely and this is my third video. In this video, I'll talk about Valentine's and being single on Valentine's and being single, period. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe. When we think of Valentine's Day, we usually think of relationships, partners, love, chocolate, sharing love and affection with someone else. But the most important relationship is the one with yourself. Just because you're not with someone doesn't mean that you fail that relationships, you fail that this and that, that you're, gonna, that you're gonna be alone forever. Being single on Valentine's Day is an amazing time to focus on yourself and do the things you actually like. And you should really just take this day out and really focus on you. We see relationships everywhere. We see it on TV. We see it on social media. We see it everywhere around us. It's normal for us to think like, wow, like we're really single. This is your time to focus on you and only on you. It's your time to be selfish. And I know sometimes selfish has like a bad connotation, but being selfish is not a bad thing. Loving yourself and focusing on you is not a bad thing and it's an amazing thing. And there's different ways you could care for yourself. Mentally, physically, emotionally. There's all these different ways you could care about yourself. And that's what we're gonna be talking about. One of the most amazing things to do for yourself mentally is to reflect and plan. I love planning. Like, I plan everything out. Every day is planned. Every second is planned. What I want to do is planned. You think I'm lying? This is my planner. It says, darling, shine, that's all. And then these are my... Oh, wait, hold on. Not that type of video. Okay. It's just really good for you to plan things out. Have it written down. Reflect. Sit down and think, what is it that I like? What is it that makes me happy? What is it that makes me sad? What is it that I don't like? What is it that I do like? Get intentional with yourself. Maybe there's some things you always wanted to do, but you never did because other people wouldn't like it, or other person would feel uncomfortable. This is just an amazing time for you to step out of that comfort zone. There's this place where really good meditation, I really, really, wanna, really, 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 really wanna go. It's called Inkscape, it's so nice. I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can see it. So nice and peaceful and amazing. Next thing you could do is challenge yourself. Go to the movies by yourself. Funny movie, not a scary one. I don't like scary movies. So go to the movies by yourself, start a squat challenge, bake something, throw all your clothes and start all over again. There's so many things you could do for your mind to help you grow into the person you're supposed to be. It's amazing to spend time alone and really reflect on yourself. Appreciate yourself because you're fire. You're amazing. You're the best. Like, no one is you. No one is you, and that is your power. Spend time by yourself, really reflecting what it is that you want. Get intentional. Why do you want what you want? Why do you do what you do? What you think, you become. If you think you can do something, you probably can. But if you think you could do something, you probably can. My sister constantly, this one, she says, when there is a will, there is a way. When you want to do it, you can do it. So really, set this time out for yourself and get intentional. Set these goals, take this pen, take this paper, write that thing down, complete that thing. Your mental state is really, really important. Where your mind is at is where you are. Spend time by yourself, meditate, reflect, and challenge yourself. The next thing you could do this Valentine's Day is physical things. Go to the gym. If you don't want to go alone, go with someone. Me, for example, I don't like going to the gym by myself. Like, I feel like kind of awkward, like, like, I'd be running, but like, I wish like someone was here with me. So I got a membership where I could bring someone with me. You could have a face mask day. On Pinterest, there's a whole bunch of DIY ones with honey and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to link those down below. You could go on a walk by yourself. Not right now. It's cold outside. But like when the snow clears up, go ahead and take a walk by yourself. Take a dog. Borrow someone's dog and go on a walk. Taking yourself out on dates. Take yourself out to the movie. Take yourself out to the zoo. Take yourself out to eat. Even if it's awkward, just take yourself out. You are the only person who is not going to leave you, and that's a fact. <laughs> Next way you could take care of yourself and really love yourself this Valentine's Day is emotionally. One of the hardest things for me personally was learning to forgive myself. Forgive myself for things I've done, things I have should have done, things I didn't do. So it's good to forgive yourself and forgive the people that hurt you. And if you hurt them, forgive yourself. Write things down and burn them. No, honestly, it helps. 
So write things down like mad or anger, crumble it, and then burn it. Number two, resentment. You shouldn't have resentment towards anybody because you're still dragging that with you. Even if you're like, I don't even care. You do care because if you're still holding on to it, you still care. Let it go or you hold it on with you. Emily said that here. You either hold it with you, or she's not what she said, that's not how she said it. But you let go of it or you hold on to it forever. That's what she said. If you are still mad about it, it still has power over you. Nothing like that should have any power over you or your emotions. That's so cool. I have my planner right here. Mm. Yeah. Try to not hold any resentment. Try to not hold anything because it has power over you. It's not good. That's not good. The next thing is not being harsh. Don't be harsh on yourself. Don't be harsh on other people. Forgive yourself, forgive the situation, and forgive how it happened. Forgiving does not mean you forget it. Forgiving it is for yourself to move forward, to not let it hold anything against you, to not let it hinder you or what you could do. Show yourself what you could do. You got this. I just wanted to make this really short video. Well, I hope it's short. To tell you guys that even though we see relationships everywhere, the most important relationship is the one with yourself. You have to be comfortable with yourself before you can be comfortable with someone else. No one is going to love you the way you can love you. Work on you for you, not for someone else. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my third video. <gasps> Three things about self-love in my third video. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Don't forget to keep loving yourself, both mentally, physically, and emotionally. I'll see you guys on Saturday for my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Back my hair. It's going back my hair. It's going back. Going back. My hair is going back. Go, go. Who don't need nobody? You don't need nobody. Who don't need nobody?